Hey everyone, Dan Saavedra here from MergerData.com. Tableau just released version 2022.4. So today we're gonna jump into the top six features for Tableau Desktop and Tableau Cloud for developers. So let's jump right in. The first new feature, as I resize my window here, that Tableau released, that's a really big deal, is the ability to, to swap out data sources for individual sheets rather than for the entire workbook. And so if I'm in this Superstore workbook here and I right click this data source and then click on replace data source, you'll see that I have a checkbox available that says replace current worksheet only. So instead of swapping out the data source and it impacting the entire workbook, now we can do it just for the sheet that we wanna swap out the data source for. So this is really useful if you have really large workbooks that have been in use for a while and for whatever reason you need to swap out a data source but just for certain visualizations, you can do it this way and it saves a lot of hassle and rework. So that's the first major new feature that's included in 2022.4. The second major new feature as I cancel out of this box here is the image role for dimensions. Now. If you've ever wanted to have dynamic images in Tableau dashboards, now you have an easy way to do that. So I've already added an image role field here called example image, and I'm gonna open that up so you can see. I put a static URL in here so that we can see how this works. Basically, it's just a string field. So if you go up to something like customer ID, for example, let's say this was the dynamic URL that we wanted to load into dashboards. We would just click on the ABC. We would go down to image role and then we would select URL. And so if I go back down to my sample field, I'm going to click and drag this example image onto this visualization. You can see we have, we have a nice picture of a dog loaded into the workbook here. Now, this image isn't actually saved with the workbook. So if you have hundreds of images that you want to dynamically display depending on how your dashboard and worksheet are filtered, then you'll now be able to do this without blowing up the size of your workbook. So that's a second awesome new feature. It really opens up the options you have in terms of the dashboards that you build for your users. The third new feature that is a really big deal if you've been working in Tableau for a long time is the proper string function. Now, it's a really basic, basic function to have, but it has not been available until now. And so I created some uh, fields over here, some calculated fields to show you this functionality. So let's say that we have a new sheet here. Uh, we have this original customer name field, which is already formatted correctly. Um, and then we can drop on this calculated field that I created. So now we see that we have all lowercase. And let's say this is what our original data looks like. We wanna create a calculated field that corrects this improper capitalization. And so basically what I did was I created a calculated field with the proper function and that's it. So I'm gonna drag that onto Canvas here. And so now you can see that this proper function has capitalized the first letter in each word. It used to be a really long workaround to get something like this to work correctly. So it's really simplified now. It's great for any developers in Tableau. If you're creating dashboards, this is a really, really useful new feature. Now for the fourth and fifth top new features for this Tableau release, we're gonna go back to the release page here because there aren't really visual representations of these upgrades. It's better just to go and read through these releases instead. So the fourth best new feature released in this version would be the custom views REST API improvement. So when you're embedding Tableau into other applications before, you were not able to leverage custom views. So you weren't able to save your users, filters, their sorts, their selections, everything you do on the Tableau Cloud platform. So now you will be able to do that while embedding Tableau into your other applications. The embedding use case is growing rapidly in Tableau, so this is a really big deal. Now, the fifth top new feature is also related to embedding and APIs, and that would be the Embedding API version 3.4 release, which allows you to fetch all of the underlying data from the dashboard itself. Now, this is really powerful, especially if you're selling a product that is closely tied to an embedded Tableau dashboard or Tableau Cloud platform. And basically what you're able to do is you can now use all the data that your dashboard is using for 
other purposes and other applications outside of Tableau. So think of complementary analytics tools, maybe other automated solutions. You can now use the embedding API and grab all the data um, that's being presented in Tableau for other purposes. So this is a really great new feature for developers who are responsible for other products outside of Tableau, but maybe want to work with the data that Tableau is seeing in the first place. Now, the last top new feature, the sixth one for Tableau 2022.4, is directly related to Tableau Cloud. And so I'm going to go over to a Tableau Cloud instance and show you what I'm talking about. Right now, I am in the Superstore workbook published to our test instance. And if I go over here, you can see that there's a new usage tab. Now, since this is a test instance, there's not a lot of data for this workbook, but you can still see how this new feature works for you and how it might look for your organization. So basically Tableau is presenting two options here or two visualizations of your dashboard usage. And one is total favorites and the other is total views. So people will, or when people go to view or when people favorite your workbook, you'll be able to see those metrics here. So it's a really quick way just to look at how people are viewing your visualization over time when spikes in traffic occur. So you can kind of see the cadence and the effectiveness that your dashboard is having throughout the organization. Now you can even click into these and filter by different days so that you can see over the lifetime of the workbook exactly what the views were looking like or the favorites. And so this is a really useful new feature. Basically, you'll get better insights into how users are using your dashboard. And in the future, I imagine that Tableau will continue to add to these metrics so that you can easily see how people are interacting with the data that you're presenting. Those are the top new features released in Tableau Cloud and Tableau Desktop 2022.4 for developers. Hopefully you found this video useful and are able to use some of these new features in your workflow today or tomorrow or whenever you get to upgrade to the next version of Tableau. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com. Make sure to hit subscribe to see more videos like this around Tableau, analytics, and automation. Thank you for watching. One.